Hi everyone and welcome to my very first YouTube makeup video. Um, I will be showing you guys how I create this look with almost an entire face of brand new products to me. Um, so come along and I'll show you guys how I got to here. Ulta just had their big spring haul sale and right before that they also had the 21 days of beauty and so I picked up a ton of new stuff and I'm using this video, my first ever YouTube video, to justify buying all of it. So for my primer, we are going to be using the um, TikTok Made Me Buy It NYX Marshmallow Primer. You know what? I really expected it to be a little bit more marshmallowy. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, it smells so much like marshmallows. A little bit, but not like a crazy amount. That's feel nice. It feels like a, just a really nice moisturizer. Honestly, I'm just going to go over it because I have some excess. Put it on my eyelids. That feels really nice on the skin. Um, and I'm sure that people don't actually want like a super strong marshmallowy smell um, on their face all day. But just the way that everyone on TikTok was reacting to this, I really thought it was going to be an intense um, marshmallow smell. This used to be my favorite favorite concealer back in the day, but since trying all the different new concealers out there, I just kind of forgot to keep picking it up. So we're getting, <laughs> we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. I got mine in the shade Fair because I, in case you haven't been able to tell, am incredibly pale. Okay. Yeah, to twist, 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 twist. Okay, she's starting to erupt like Mount Vesuvius. Do 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 do. We're just gonna dab this all over all of my nice little pimples. So I got an expert concealer brush, and I'm gonna use that. This is the chaotic neutral of YouTube videos, I suppose. Um, so if you like chaos, you'll love my channel. And we're just gonna, gonna brush it into the skin so it kind of melts in more. Should have popped that pimple, but I didn't want to deal with the oozing. Hope I'm not blocking my face with the mirror. It's all a learning experience, you know? I think I've concealed, don't field enough for now. Um, I finally picked up the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream that's been once again all over TikTok. Um, people have been obsessed with this product and I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna get it. But then, um, then I got it. Um, which is kind of the story of my life, honestly. Um, I have the shade Fair 50C. I've never used a CC cream before, um, but it's color correcting, which I need because my face is red and blotchy as all heck. Um, full coverage, natural finish with collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. And it's broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. I'm gonna pump it onto the back of my hand. Pump, pump. Do, let's just do, we're gonna do two pumps for now. I picked up during the um, 21 Days of Beauty It Cosmetics brushes, and I got the um, Blurring Foundation brush. So boop, boop, boop. First of all, a little bit yellow, but. Um, this is, um, I don't know if this is a good shade match for me, y'all. I feel like I look a little bit orangey. Okay, we're still going in with the first dip on the brush. So this half of my face has it, this half doesn't. Um, it definitely did cover up a lot of the redness. Boop, 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 boop. There's gonna be a lot of singing on this channel. I do still think this looks a little too orangey for me. 
but it was either this one or like a more yellowy undertone and I do think that like yellow versus orange I think that since like I have really pink red undertones the orange is a little bit better get it down the neck but we're just gonna go on one more a little bit more and now although this is the uh so this is one pump of the camo CC cream although it might be kind of more like half of one and a half a pump because I had to like prime the pump a little bit but I'm just going to go in with my damp uh, beauty sponge it's not a beauty blender and kind of pat it into the skin a little bit um, with the sponge sometimes I do it damp sometimes I do it dry still trying to figure out what I prefer you know I am gonna go in one more time with my um, concealer and just do the technique that I've been seeing online and just do a little bit on the inner corner and a little bit up here to brighten it. I think I just got concealer in my hair. That's fun, that's sexy. And then we're going to just go in with the sponge this time and pat, pat, pat it in. Okay, how do we look? Do we look good? I picked up the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. So I picked up the shade Light Pink. Um, they also just have like a light shade, but as I've previously mentioned, and as your eyes could probably tell, I have red skin. Pour powder here for a Halo Glow. So let's just do ba doop do ASMR powder. We're gonna go in with the Real Techniques setting brush. Take a little bit on, tap off the excess so it doesn't get all over my sweater, because that will happen. Miriam. And then we're just going to lightly tap it in and brush it on under our eyes first. We're going in just where I crease a lot in the T-zone because I get all shiny. I have very combination skin, so it gets quite a bit damp. Damp, that's a terrible word. Um, quite a bit oily and shiny in the T-zone. So, boo boo, let's just. Before I go in with eyeshadow, I'm gonna do my brows. Um, and I picked up the the NYX Lift and Snatch. I got it in the shade Brunette. Brunette. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my, my, my 10 times zoom mirror and this, and I'm going to try to recreate the look of just having brows. Um, boop, boop, boop. I'm just gonna kind of fade the bottom part of it. Yeah, that doesn't look that doesn't look too bad, right? Comment below if you think I'm ugly. <laughs> Please don't. Okay, we're gonna go in with the other eyebrow and this one I clearly haven't plucked in a week because I have some stragglers. Okay, we're gonna oop, boop, boop. Oh, it tickles. Why is it so thin? Uh, it looks like a 2000s brow. I'm gonna try to add just a little bit more bulk to the bottom of it. Brow, brow. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion um, to prime my eyelids. I should have done this a little earlier, but I forgot. Little bit of on each and then this just really helps, I think, to make the pigment a little bit stronger and also to help it last throughout the day. I am a sweaty girl, and so this is like one of the first products that I've tried and that has worked to make eyeshadow and eyeliner really stay on throughout the day. Although it is pricey, I, I keep buying it like on sale, but like if you guys know of like a good drugstore eyeshadow primer that I should try, comment down below. 
like a month or so ago, uh, ColourPop was having a sale on all of their Disney products. And so I got the um, flower palette from their little Bambi collection, um, which it's so cute. But so these are the shades. And also I picked up this Real Techniques coming back in again with the Real Techniques um, Everyday Eye Essentials pack. So I might try to use a lot of these since I got them. They're, it's normally $20, I got it for $10. I'm such a good bargain hunter. Joke's on me, I spent so much money. This is a tiny little palette, so we will be using all five shades in here. Um, we're gonna go in with Pretty Flower first, and we're gonna get a nice, big, fluffy blending brush. So we're going in with the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush into Pretty Flower. And what do 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 do? There's quite a bit of fallout in the pan. Hopefully that doesn't translate to the eye itself because I already put my face makeup on. Okay, we're gonna just windshield wiper motions. Okay, we're just gonna go in a little bit more. And we're just gonna bring that all the way into the inner crease. Oh, pretty. Okay, so that it has a nice kind of diffusion upwards. We're gonna go back in again, and we're gonna do a nice black. Um, and then we're gonna go in on the outer side, always starting from the outside, and then just going back and forth. My eyelid is catching this brush. I'm just gonna keep blending it out, I'm trying to keep that like kind of like ovalish shade uh, shape. As always, I think that this eye looks better than this eye, but that's just kind of how we roll. We all have a favorite eyebrow, a favorite eye. I don't know why I closed the palette. I'm gonna have to open it back up. I'm a little bit nervous about this defining crease brush. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use it because I'm testing stuff out for you guys. I'm just gonna take off. Oh, that's satisfying. But so we're still blending this deeper purple shade into our left eye, and then I'm gonna go back in with just the fluffier brush to diffuse her out a little bit more. Okay, it's going to. Oh. I'm gonna use the ColourPop E21. I love the ColourPop brushes, um, but we're just going to be going in with a nice, short, dense brush, um, and we're gonna go in with hibernating, which is this. Uh, I'm just gonna swatch it really quickly just to see how. And Sorry, I don't I don't know why I'm so surprised by that, but, but I'm just gonna swatch this on my This is gonna be fun. Okay, you could go very bold with this, but we're just going to be doing a nice like corner corner accent. Okay, we're just going to lightly go in, just tap tap, tap tap, blow out the fallout. So just get a little bit, tap it off again, because we don't want fallout on our eyeball. And then we're going to go in so lightly. This is such a dark shade. And we're just going to put it lightly along where like that like line is. And then we're going to smoke it into the crease a little bit, kind of like a little V shape. You need to be so careful with this, you guys. It's so dark. And then we're going into the crease a little bit in like that like nice little V. And then we're going to go, we're going to bring, buff it in that nice little V formula. Kind of like how, you see how this is like more blended out? We're just going to keep smoking it out a little bit until it's just nice and like, deepened, you know, like a nice 
deep V. <sighs> that was awful. I'm so sorry. We're gonna go into, oh gosh. Oh gosh, the um, first of the two shimmer shades in the palette. I'm just gonna go in with my ring finger and take a little, oh, it's so buttery. Take a little bit of it on and then just starting like center into the corner, tapping it a little bit at a time. So it kind of blends in, a, it, so we'll go. I'm not good at words, you guys. We're gonna get a little bit more and we're gonna go in and just tapping a little bit at a time. I found with the shimmer shades, going in with your finger first really allows the pigment to stay. We're gonna use this smudge brush from that pack and we're just going to slightly blend that shade so you see how this is more blended than this is a little bit more of a harsh line so that those two shades just really kind of blend together more so it kind of looks like just like in one nice um, fading movement if that makes any sense whatsoever now we're gonna go in with this last shade so shy um, and we're gonna take it on our pinky because we're going to be going into the inner corner. It's bright white, um, that's fun. We're going to go in. If you have long nails, this might be difficult. I'm gonna go in with a smudge brush and just do the kind of the same thing that we did so that these two bad boys just kind of merge into each other. See, so it's like a nice little gradient. I am a winged black eyeliner girl, but I've wanted to find like a nice um, dark purple, like raisiny kind of shade. Not raisiny, but you, you raisiny a little bit. Um, and this brand was on sale, so I got this. But so let me just show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> So it's like this nice deep purple shade. So I think that actually works really nicely with this eye look that we've got going on. So we're going to try to um, do a nice wing with this purple instead of a black. It's very creamy just based on that. Um, hopefully I don't have to like sharpen it on camera, but we'll see. I like to start right out in where the wing is. And sketch out the wing. I just never use pencil eyeliners anymore, do I? We're going to go as close to the lash line. The key with winged eyeliner, I feel like, is just you need patience. You need the utmost patience to really just like go little bit at a time to little bit of a time. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it in just a little bit, kind of like the halfway point. Um, the, uh, the eyeliner is giving me more fallout than any of the eyeshadow was, so that's interesting, but... Okay, so I'm gonna do basically the same thing that I did on the other side and start with the line. Trying to go at the same angle as the other line, but oftentimes it's just a completely different angle. And then we have to go from there. Going as close to the lash line as I can. And I'm just going to take this definer brush and just, just going to go along the lash line. Um, yeah, and then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this smudge brush again, and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Little Stinker, the, this shade. Just take a teensy tiny little bit on the edge and run that, like kind of 
more of like a padding side to side motion underneath. Kind of over top of that eyeliner. And about halfway, like stopping about where the pupil is. Okay, and then we're just going to keep going a little bit side to side underneath to like diffuse it just a teensy bit more. Okay, and then um, use just a teensy, teensy, teensy bit of, oh gosh. Uh, go in inner corner to meet that other shade. I have so much of that eyeliner just like sitting inside my eyeball. Okay, um, now we're gonna go in with mascara. They had the Benefit Roller Lash um, for 50, everything was 50% off like when they had the special days. But, okay, so we're gonna go in with this. It's got like a nice little curved um, plastic thing. Um, thing brush the top ones are a little bit wider the small ones are a little bit more comby so okay so this is one this is one eye with the mascara one eye without the mascara to do super curling and lifting mascara it is it is lifting and it looks pretty curled i don't know if you can okay we're going to go in with the other one the other one, the other eye. I can definitely see why so many people like the roller lash. Um, I'd be interested to know like what like a drugstore equivalent of like at least the brushes because I feel like the brush is kind of like the hook of it. They had like 50% off Ardell, which I love Ardell. Um, I got the naked lashes for the first time. Um, and I also got this little applicator to see if that helps. Okay, so this little guy has like a little pincher and then like a little pusher. So I usually just use either my hands or tweezers, but. So this is this eye, so. Boop. And I'm just going to press out a little bit of it and then run it along. Oh my gosh. I've let it explode. Um, you just want to let it get a little bit tacky so it sticks to your eyes even better. I'm just gonna stick it. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know what that laugh laugh was, but okay, we're gonna stick it. And once I get it close, or once I get it stuck on, like in the center, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got it stuck on the center, and then we're gonna use our thingy. Oh my goodness. I think tweezers might just be easier. Okay, actually, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can like use this to like kind of clamp it. It looks really nice, I think. It's like subtle enough, but also like enough, you know? Okay, well, um, it broke, <laughs> it broke, um, it broke on me, um, hello? This has never happened before! Okay, well that's really disappointing, um, so I guess I'm gonna use a different left lash um i'm just gonna stick that there and maybe try to use those as just like individual guys that has genuinely never happened to me before um i wasn't like roughly pulling it oopsie poopsie i guess as the as the kids say okay here's the, they look really good on um this was a little bit of a disappointment but I, I'm sure I can use those as like individual lashes at least so it's not completely a waste. So next we're gonna go in and finish up the face. I also got the Wet n Wild Col Coloricon. That's definitely not how you say it. 
color a con. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer <laughs> in Sunset Strip Tees. Um, I'm a little bit worried this, this might be a little too dark, but um, this is what someone was like, I'm pale and I use this. So I was like, okay. So I'm gonna be going in with my ColourPop F20 brush. I'm just gonna pat, 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 pat to get the bronzer all over it. No, we're gonna, actually, I'm sorry. I, I really do actually need my glasses for this. Oh, okay. I was definitely wrong. This is not too dark. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm just going in with my blender and just kind of like patting out as the harsher line that the brush doesn't quite take away, I feel like. Um... And then I'm just going to go in with my bronzer once again, pat, 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 and then kind of pinch it a little bit more and just pat it along the nose. Because um, this is what I see people doing. And so I'm going to do it just a slight contour on my nose. And then... Am I a pretty girl, mama? Okay. I really like the way that looks. Uh, what do you guys think? I also got the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duo in Pomegranate. So we're just going to tap in. This seems very pigmented so far, but we're just going to go in um, kind of like angling along the top parts of the cheekbone. I don't want to go too heavy handed with this, um, but I think that I am actively doing that as we speak. So I'm just going to go in one more time and pat out the um, like entrance area of it and then just keep do, 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 do. I'll just add like a teeny bit of the nose blush that's so popular nowadays just teeny 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 bit and let me with the 21 days of beauty Alta had all of the opera cosmetics, or maybe it's Ofra, not really sure. Um, cosmetics highlighters, 50% off. So it was still really expensive. This is still, still the most expensive highlighter or even like face product that I have. But I got the Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donuts. Look how pretty that is. I usually do highlighter with my fingers and like kind of diffuse it later, but like let's go in with all oh, that pigment. That is a pig. That is very silvery and icy as it claims to be. Just going to go in and then a little bit on the the little bulb of the nose. Brush along the cupid's bow. And then we're gonna go back in one more time for the left side. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm just going to actually use my finger to like Pat it through a little bit. It is actively highlighting all of the um the pimples that I have up there, but that's fine. I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Trust Your Gut. It's a pretty neutral, like kind of grayish mauvey, and this Atlanta lips first. Then I'm going to go in with this um, ColourPop Lux Gloss in Figgy with it. <laughs> That's so fun. Um, from the Making Mobs collection. Um, just to give a nice like purple tone. My final new product is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is supposed to wear for 16 hours. Um, so, um, let me just, I don't want to, I don't want to know what I'm getting into. Okay. Ah. 
it was angled in the wrong way and I did not shoot the proper shot. Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay. Well, this is our final look, you guys. I think I really enjoyed how all of these products work together and I really liked how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my very first makeup video. Um, I had some fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, but I let me know if you guys want an update on how any of this wears. Um, I think overall I really liked like the way it came out, um, but I, I think that like after everything, this did match a little bit better than when it first looked, and I absolutely love this little palette. I think it's so cute and just the colors are beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this look and if there's anything else you guys want me to try. Um, yeah, uh, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys all around. Bye. <laughs> this video is also brought to you by Cold Brew Ice Coffee. It's gonna make me sweat even worse. Cold Brew. A smarter person would have put in their contacts for this, but I am not smart when it comes to being smart. As probably proved by that sentence. Very slick from the primer. What are you attacking? Are you attacking a cord? Come here, come here. Viola. Linda down the neck. Oh, ow. Mm. I'm gonna do that again where I don't burp. Next, where did I yeet the box to? Oh, break out my little fan again.